Nine. Today we're we'll going to be tying a variation of a more shopper. Uh, the hook in the vise is a Daiichi 1260 size 10. The foam that we're going to be using for the body of the hook that I've already pre-cut and glued is 2 millimeter in color tan and yellow. Uh, and I've used the super awesome foam cutters that are for a more shopper size 10. But they just really help uh, speed up the time of cutting foam, but you also get a lot more consistent cuts and sizes on your hoppers. Uh, for the underbody of the hopper, I'm using some UV Crystal Flash or UV Ice Dub in shrimp pink. And then for the tail is the Crystal Flash that I'll be using um, is UV Tan. And you only need two fibers for this one. And then the legs for the hopper are going to be rubber legs size medium in black. And the thread is going to be Vivis size A dot in black. So to start this fly, we're going to start right here behind the eye. Start our thread wraps, trapping our thread down. And from this point, we'll go ahead and trim this here. work our thread back to the shank down the shank of the hook and with this one being having such a long shank we're just going to stop right here at the very point of the hook and from here is when we're going to tie in our two strands of uv crystal flash line those two tips up in this part here we're going to leave these a little bit longer we'll trim these at the very very end we're going to tie these two on right down the back of the hook Tie these about halfway down. Doesn't have to be like super tight wraps. And now that we're tied about halfway down the shank of the hook, we're gonna fold these two strands back and put them back towards the bend of the hook. And we'll wrap over the top of these, securing and tying them down. Tie and wrap down to the last thread wrap you had down here. And then those last two that you folded over, we're gonna go ahead and just trim those to the same length. But again, we'll trim all four at the very, very end. And the one piece that you're going to add on before you add your foam body on is just a little bit of this uh, UV Crystal Flash in the shrimp pink right here just to like make a little hot butt on it. And one tip I've always heard when you're just starting out using the ice dub is less goes a long way. Uh, so sometimes I've heard people say get the amount that you think you need and then cut it in half and most more often than not you have enough to do what you need to do. So now we got this little section of ice dub on, we're going to tie in our uh, foam body and we're going to tie the yellow side down and we just want a little bit of overhang right here on the eye of the hook because uh, typically when you tie it down and really cinch it down to the hook, it will scoot back a little bit. A couple of loose wraps here and then we'll get tighter on the next few after that. Once we got that on there pretty well, we're gonna add this little indicator piece, which really helps it be the fly be more visible when you're out fishing it, uh, which is also an aspect of the Morsh hopper. I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this little piece on the very top. Now that you got all three pieces of foam pretty secured on there well, we're gonna add in our rubber legs. These guys uh, usually sit really well uh, right on the tan piece of foam that midway point. Do a couple wraps just to really secure them on there. Do the same thing on the other side. This is also a nice time to use that rotary function on your vise. Uh, helps you look at the back side of the fly and make sure it's as nice and good looking as the front side of your fly. Now that we got the legs tied on and situated, uh, the last step here before we start wrapping forward is to add a little bit more of that ice dub just to cover up those thread wraps that we created and create a more uniform body on the other side and add a little sparkle to it. Just wrap right between those two legs. No, again, use the rotary function, flip it over, make sure uh, you're covering all those thread wraps. Um, once, I, once you get those covered, We'll lift up the head of the fly here and we'll start wrapping forward. You can see I ran out of ice tips, so I'll grab a little bit more and we'll wrap up a little bit farther on the shank of the hook. So 
So you get that doodled on there again, lift up, wrap forward, so you add some color to the bottom of this fly. Once you get up like a quarter of the shank left, we'll just go ahead and wrap over all three pieces of foam and do a couple light ones and then we'll really start to cinch it down and that's really going to secure all three pieces of foam on this hook really well. Once you get all those wraps done, we're going to add in our last two sets of legs. And same thing, line them right up on that tan piece of foam. A couple wraps will secure them on there pretty well. Rotary function again really helps. It makes it a lot easier to make the fly consistent. Now that all the legs are secured, I'll just do that same step of covering up those thread wraps with the ice dub once again. And for these ones, you don't need a whole lot of, a lot of ice dub. You can use the rotary function to make sure. And we'll just lift up right on the head of the foam again. And we'll wrap forward. Yeah. And now we're just going to loosen the hook a little bit in the vise. I'm going to tip the eye of the hook up a little bit, and from here, we're going to try to sneak a few whip finishes underneath the head of this foam. We're just going to lift up on it a little bit, and we're going to get three whip finishes underneath it. Sometimes those rubber legs are trying to get in the way, but we'll do three more, just for good measure. All those loop finishes and we can go ahead and trim our thread off and we'll straighten our hook back out in the vise and now we got two steps left and we're just going to trim all of our legs off so we're going to i like to grab the two legs that are paired together that we tied on together grab them and we'll cut those two at the same length it just keeps consistency This on both sides again. This is another awesome time to use that rotary function on your vise. And the very last step, as promised, is going to be cutting these four fibers of crystal flash off. And we want about a quarter of an inch or less hanging off the back of this as a tail. That right there is your Moorish Hopper.